Welcome back everybody to the last review for the Mummy series. This is the Mummy Tomb of the Dragon Emperor. Before we get into this review, make sure to hit that little bell down below. I'm not sure where it is, but this lets you get all of my videos first so you can check out all of my reviews and watch me attempt at telling you guys things, but I really don't know what I'm talking about and watch my lazy reviews that are very uninteresting. So you can get those first by hitting the bell down below. The Mummy Tomb of the Dragon Emperor is the third movie in this Mummy trilogy starring Brendan Fraser. This time around they brought in Maria Bello as Evie instead of Rachel Wise. Not sure why, it's probably having to do with some baby and other work. I don't know, it's probably what it is. This time around the son Alex is grown up and he is doing the same things that his father did in the past. He digs up the mummy from a dragon emperor from years before that had the same storyline as the first two movies were. He had gained some powers and he wanted to have an army to control the world and then someone put a curse on him and then he was no more. Until someone that wants to be part of the army digs him back up and wants to release the dead army on the world. The first movie came out in 1999, the second one came out in 2001 and this one came out in 2008 and to be honest I really do not care for this movie. I love, love the first two. They are very nostalgic for me. They are fun adventure films. And the third one just lacked so much to make this an interesting film. The one thing I could take back from this film that I just did not like is the chemistry between Brennan Fraser and Maria Bello. Nothing against Maria Bello. I think she's a great actress. Just the chemistry between them two was very uninteresting. I really liked Rachel Wise as Evie and Brendan Fraser as Rick O'Connor. I liked the relationship. They established it in the first movie. They got married in the second movie. They had a kid. You can really feel that really great family dynamic. And here in the third one, it's just not there. Brendan Fraser just seems so uninterested in this movie. Maria Bella is trying her hardest. It just does not work. I think having the son be a little older and doing his own thing is great as well. But Luke Ford, who played Alex grown up, had the personality of a doorknob. It was very unexciting and he tried to carry the film and have this love story going on. It just was not there at all. They brought back Jonathan. So Jonathan is the only other person besides Brendan Fraser that is at all through this movies and he is great once again. I do like some of the monsters and the set locations. It's different from the first two which I really did appreciate. You had the Yeti and this new shape-shifting dragon emperor which I thought was really cool. So all that was really fun but the characters, the relationships, the chemistry, all fell flat and it made the film less exciting than the previous two. But this movie is very forgettable. I've seen it like twice, uh, maybe three times, and I really don't remember much of this film. I just watched it the other day and I really don't remember what I just watched. It's that forgettable. It's just flat, it's boring, unexciting, chemistry is really bad. Uh, and it's a shame because the first two are really great films. I'm gonna go ahead and give The Mummy, Tomb of the Dragon Emperor a C minus. So there you have it, all three Mummy reviews leading up to The Mummy starring Tom Cruise. I hope this one is better than the third Mummy movie, but I don't think it'd be better than the first two Mummy movies. We'll see what happens. I'm still looking forward to it. So let's just watch movies. Thank you guys for watching my videos. As always, if you guys would like to participate in a Blu-ray, giveaway contest. The link will be down below for that and you can follow the directions on how to win a copy of that. The contest will run till June 21st, I believe. So this is Just Watch Movies. Thank you guys for watching. As always, you guys are the best and you stay classy, YouTube.